<sighs> I was really happy watching the race. It was kind of, it was, it wasn't, it was more boring than I thought it would be, but I enjoyed watching it. I was happy with the results. Verstappen pulling away. I am, um, I have a different top three now than I used to, just so you guys know. It's like solidified. Mm, why was this not um, under review at all? Why was no review? Why was <laughs> nothing necessary? Why? Why wasn't that? So, Leclerc, like, fucked up Pierre Gasly's car, right? Right? And it was his fault, right? Right, yeah. But he doesn't... Nothing happens. And nobody seemed to care, besides me. Nobody seemed to care besides me. It's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. I'm not upset. Gio Perez, who, as you can see, it does feel like Gasly got screwed. He really did. It's kind of like nobody cared. I mean, it makes sense that they didn't have Lando defend because obviously the Mercedes and Red Bull are much faster than the McLaren. So they'd rather him save his tires and have a better place and get better points than try and fight and not get fifth. I'm pretty sure this is the face that I made when I saw that. I was like, <laughs> I like, looked around and was like, what the fuck? When I saw that with um, Hamilton, I was like, huh? Why? Dude, every time, when he has a chance of getting points, something fucking happens to him. I want him to get points finish in Williams so bad. Also this. No, when that happened, I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, I don't even like Perez, and I was like, oh no, when his pit stop was so slow. I was like, yelling. <laughs> I don't even like him, and I was like, no! <sighs> Cause I've been saying I want to see him do well all season. Like not that he's not that he didn't do well, not that he like did poorly. He did very well. He's still, you know, but uh, I wanna see him do I want him I wanna uh just wanna see him do better. Russell's cursed, I know. It seems like it, right? He does so well and then like things out of his control happen. It's like how? How does it happen so consistently? So fucking consistently. I don't know. Man, Mercedes was good though. They like they told uh, Bud asked to box right away as soon as they saw that. They're like box, box, like right away. They were quick on it. They saw Perez had a bad, bad pit stop, and they're like box now, like do it now. So when voting for driver of the day first started, I sincerely thought signs was going to be like at least in there somewhere like he would be like in because you know like they have the percentage and then like the top three whoever's at the top three of um driver of the day i thought he'd at least be in there somewhere and he just wasn't and i don't understand how he wasn't he raced so well he did such a good job like, I get it. Like, I get Max being in there, because Max is, did fucking amazing. But how... How is Sainz not even, like, in there? The people I'd vote for never, never win, so it doesn't matter. Not the first time. I'm so... Okay. How can Leclerc... Ruin Gasly's race. Hit everyone's favorite, Kimi Raikkonen. Like, barely. Okay, he, like, clipped him, but still, it caused damage. Like, everyone loves Kimi Raikkonen. How come no one's upset about this? Like, everyone's like, mm, we don't care. It's fine. It's fine. And still, everyone's like, oh, yep, that he, that's the driver of the day. That's him. That's That's the one. I, I don't get it. I mean, I might be a little bit biased because Gasly is one of my favorite drivers, but nobody cared. Like, they were like, mm, we don't have to, no investigation necessary, you know. Nothing needs to happen. We don't need to look at it. 
That's happy Max Hills. one, obviously. Johnson, that was one of my predictions. Is is. Yes, it is. I'm fine. Like, Perez, I'm not upset. I wanted Perez. He was so close. I really wanted him to pass him at the end, because, like, obviously, that'd make it fun. What I wanted was for Yuki to pass Fernando Alonso at the end, because he was pretty close. I was like, I just want to see him do it. I want to see him get, you know, he's in points, which is good. Like, he got a point. Nice. But I wanted, I was like, I just want to see him pass him. But then he didn't, obviously. Um, I really wanted to see it. We're going to need one more lap. I know, one Red more. If Perez had one more lap, he would have done it. Definitely. A winning day for Red Bull. I was just mad. Like, I was mad at, like, okay, I mean, whatever. They didn't want to investigate it, whatever, whatever. But then I was like, how is he still driving? Like, why would you vote for him for driver of the day? Like, I get why people voted for Russell, like, because Russell's just unlucky. I get why people voted for Max, because Max killed it. Like, Max won by a lot. He killed it. Um, but why? Why were people voting for Leclerc? Like, yeah, he did good, but he ended up exactly where he started. He didn't gain any places. Just because he had to... Whatever. Just because he had to pass people. He passed a lot of people, yes. But he ended up exactly where he qualified. So it's kind of like, he didn't even gain places. Signs gained places. What can, are we not talking, like, I guess we don't care about that. We don't care about signs gaining places. And he did a great job. Leclerc ended up passing people, and I guess people like that because it's like, oh, look, he's passing this all these people. I completely forgot about the beginning of the race. Where he probably should have gotten a penalty. Let's be honest. He probably should have gotten a penalty. Because it was absolutely his fault. Yeah, I'm biased, I know. I like Pierre, so. At least I didn't make any predictions about Pierre this time. <laughs> Unless I would have made a prediction of DNF. Then I could have, that, I could have, I didn't do that though. I, I couldn't think of anyone who would. I was like, hmm. Who might DNF is like, oh, maybe Sonoda. Then I was like, nah, I want to I wanna predict him in points because I like him. Uh, I want him to get points. Like, I've wanted him to get points for weeks now. <laughs> I have a solidified top three now. You know how I said, like, I wasn't sure because, like, Ricardo and Max would, like, go back and forth for my third favorite driver? Well, Max is officially my third favorite driver now. I don't know. Like, it's officially official. Like, it's been for a while in my brain. So, just so you guys know. Alright, let's watch the interviews and see what they had to say. I haven't I haven't watched these yet. Um I've only I only watched the race. People always try and get like Hamilton to say something bad about Red Bull. They're always like trying like every single person who interviews them is trying to get Hamilton to say something bad about Red Bull and it's annoying. Absolutely gave everything pushed to the to the maximum just Unfortunately, just couldn't answer to any of the lap times that they were put in. I think, yeah, you know, from where I started, <laughs> I think we maximized today. Yay! And, uh, at least managed Good job. to get traffic. Uh, you were killing it. And Don't then even worry. Made, uh, right from the beginning, okay. you know, when we yeah, you very, killed very surprised it. Sign should have been driver of the day. You cannot change my mind. Yes, uh, every single time, every single time, my stroll comes on my screen, I go, <laughs> I just get the biggest smile. I can't help it. I don't know. Something about Lance just makes me smile. I do the same thing with Lando. Every time Lando's on the screen, I like smirk. Both of them. They just. They, I don't know why. It's. I think it's because I like watch stuff that they do outside of like race interviews and race. That's why I like them because I've seen them outside of just the sport. Hey, okay, but you're doing it. better than you were. So. What's good stuff from last week? But to be honest, there was a. Please do better next week. Hopefully... Two out of my three predictions were correct. See. Lando on podium, I didn't think he would, but I was like, maybe. <laughs> That's what, part of the reason I wanted to do, like, hopeful, like, one or two hopeful um, predictions, like, so I can do the things like that, like, Lando qualified third, maybe he'll get a podium, probably not, but I want him to, you know, stuff like that. Like, it wasn't the most entertaining race, but hey, it's okay. I, um, thought it was going to be more exciting. It was good.
it was about what I expected for most of it. I'm sad about Gasly. I'm pretty upset about it. I need him to do better so that um, all the people I know IRL who watch F1 can stop making fun of me for being an Ocon fan. You know what? Nobody said anything when he was doing well. Nobody was, um, nobody was talking shit when he was doing well, but then now that he hasn't been doing as well, I'm getting a lot of shit for being a fan of Ocon. I'm also getting shit for being a fan of Lando, even though Lando's been doing well. I'm not sure why I get shit for that one, but I do.